talk about this, the more it does sound like a religious cult kind of experience. Yeah, I mean, organization, not a cult. It's organization. Organization is something that is Okay. It's uh, basically, you know, it's like the kernel of truth that we started with, that I started with when I when I wrote the narrative. I just studied this this group that exists. This so it actually so it's based in reality, and you're referencing what hap yeah, happened I mean, with this church in your to story. Extent, it's, you know, I extrapolated based off of this. Well, has has anyone from this church tried to contact you or no. reach out? I mean, because it seems like once they find out about it. They're... Um, yeah, no, I, I actually think it's like a good time to introduce this Mike just, 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 just a moment. This is a perfect time to explain the detention experience is based on one's personal journey. A journey of faith, belief, isolation, and accountability for your actions. So uh, this is Atticus Jordan. He's uh, my co-writer. He's also an actor involved in, in the experience. It's one of the main players. Okay. Well, Atticus, why don't, why don't you tell us? The, uh, why don't, uh, you tell us what, your, uh, what do you want to know? What, what is your role in this thing? Uh, I mean, he, he uh, tell us, uh, uh, please. My role is to bring enlightenment. Enlightenment. He's, he's, yes, enlightenment. He's pretty much in game. Revealing right hidden truths within yourself. <laughs> Okay, well, see, that's that's exactly what we were just talking about—the cult-like aspect of it. So, what is an example of one of these truths, or how 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 are we enlightened? Like? A good example would be: I know that you're a sad person who overinjects himself into these subculture communities, because that's the only way you can get acceptance from society. <laughs> Obviously, he's joking. He's uh, so he was cast early on in the process, and he's he's really helped envision a lot of what, where we're going with OOA and and um, and the uh, the story. So uh, yeah, he's a big part of the creative process. Why don't you talk about the uh, ascension that they mentioned, uh, the on-site experience that you're doing? Can you can you talk about that a little bit? Our organization will make you a better you. So uh, is it a theater experience? Uh, how long that will make you a better you? Or? Yeah, I mean, it's purely it's fictional. It's just based on this uh, text that was written 100 years ago, which is really irrelevant now. But I see when, when I'm reading through some of the, the, the blog posts or, or the, the, the little articles that have been written about it, the, the word cult is used almost synonymously with the tension experience. We are not a cult. Okay, let's change the subject. Uh, so, you, you guys, uh, you brought some other actors from the Tension Experience, is yes. that true? Let's, let's uh, bring up those guys. So, uh, help us welcome to the stage some of the other actors from the Tension Experience Ascension. <laughs> Be careful on the stairs, guys. There you go. Just grab the mics. Uh, all right, Ellis, so casting is something that we talk about a lot in these uh, panels. So you give us some insight on how you found all these, because there are so many people, it seems, that are working for you or with you. or yeah, I have, It's hard to find these people. I basically had the idea, and I put out a casting notice, and Atticus was one of the, the first people who responded, and he had a vision for the kind of ensemble that he could bring in and, and how he well, why don't, why, don't, why don't you tell us then, Atticus, what attracted you to play a role in the attention experience in the first place? Because you were first. Also brought me. You know, you talk too much. And I don't like the sound of your damn voice. It's <laughs> kind of my job to run the panel. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am too. You know, Ellis, I think we're done here. Let's, let's, let's go. Um, I, why don't we uh, ask for some, do we have audience questions? Yeah, I've got a couple of questions. You want to do, if you want to do that, we can do that. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, uh, oh, uh, I, I was on the forum and I, I actually got a question from, from uh, Michael Rizzo. Is Michael here? Awesome. All right. So, uh, so Michael asked, uh, because the website says that the tension experience will last over two hours or whatever, so um, Mike was wanting to know if we could kind of elaborate on what to expect from that. Yeah, 
we, we definitely don't want. Again, I got this one. Michael, we are not a haunted house. We don't jump out from dark places and go, boom. But it is a haunted house. Hey, right. right. Do not interrupt that man when he's speaking. <laughs> we exist to make your life a better one. And you know that journey to a better life can really be a tough one. Your journey begins the moment you walk through our doors. By the way, do you, do you have a ticket, Mike? Okay. Anyone else would like a free ticket? All right. Um, all right. Well, these two guys. I've got um, a question from. Uh, right. I have another question from Macy Hoffman. Uh, that you don't have to read me the question. Here too. I'm here. There you are, Marcy. Macy. Amazing. Hey, again, do not interrupt the man and don't oh, correct him. My, right my brother did this. Uh, your question, Macy? Yeah, my brother did this two years ago when you were in Oklahoma, and he said you were frauds. <laughs> Fraud? Yeah, he said you were a cult. Well, aren't, uh, aren't most cults frauds? Hey, That's a little I'm, redundant. I'm sorry, you guys are a fucking joke. The entire panel is a fucking joke. I'm listening all the time. Marcy, Marcy, we're a lot of things, but we are not a joke. I was like all of you not too long ago. My husband had passed. My kids wouldn't talk to me. And I walked around with no purpose. However, changed when I was shown the truths from the book of Enoch. Can I just uh, let me just jump in real quick? So, the tension experience breaks the fourth wall and then uh, reveals to you some larger world, and then and then it happens again, and the fourth wall is broken again, and then you see something bigger. What are you asking? What book? You're, you're one of the performers in the attention experience, right? You're, that's why you're uh, here. Actress? You're, 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 I'm under the impression you're one of the actresses, is that right? Yeah, yes, that's right. He did a, uh, he did a great this job. This is thing. all a, a fake. It, it really is. It's all a fake. Uh, I am an actress. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, great. Well, that's, um, I guess we're basically done. Do you guys have anything else to say? I don't have any. Back here. You know, you owe this man nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. I, I think we've reached an impasse. Let's just take this little coming out party and call it completed. Well, please, Hi, sorry. I'm Trista Robinson. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't easy to explain, but you say you want a taste? You want a real taste? Oh wait, you're actually gonna do it. Okay. Um, so they're going away now. All right, well, well while they're doing their thing, I guess, and we're waiting for them to come back, uh, does anybody want to, how about, how about you, um, tell us what working thing, for the yeah. attention experience is like. Do you want to give us an idea of what that's, what that's like? No. You speak to that man. Okay, Atticus, what, what is working for the attention experience like? Can't wait. You know, you asking me that question reminds me of the pig that asked the giraffe. How's the view? Fucking great! <laughs> I'm a giraffe. We do, we do the work we do the work of it. Okay. And we get to speak and talk and have conversations conversation with you nightly, the uninitiated. And we get to see you as you begin to see things differently. To see the world differently. It may not pay a lot. 
But the outcome is worth it. Get your Do you fucking hands off me! What the fuck is wrong with you? You think it's a fucking joke? You think it's funny? I don't want to play your fucking game! What happened? Nothing. I can tell you what happened. It's a fucking charade. That's what it is. Who are you? It's a charade. This right here was my daughter. Right? This is my daughter right here. Look! Take it, look. Easy. This was my daughter before this fucking cult got a hold of her. Look, look at her. Look. I am Tom Farrell. And I fucking reached out to a bunch of you assholes who never helped me. It didn't work. She got in too deep. And you look what happened to her. Look, they turned her into a murderer. You see this? Okay. Look. So, okay, that's where we're going. Shut your mouth. I'm done. This, this man no. is. Jeff, no need to rage. Anyone Call the security. Call the security. Call the fucking cops. Come on, man. Call the fucking cops. Come on, man. Call the fucking cops. Call the fucking cops. Call the fucking cops. I'm so sorry. We're not going to get to your question. All right, so we're kind of out of time. Why don't you guys run the other video that we have? Security. Security. Guys, one more video. Security. 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 Put it on Pinterest. You gotta post. You gotta show what these people are doing. The they are fucking doing it. Put this on. Security. It's not over. It's not over. Pay attention. Pay attention. They're gonna expose them. They're gonna expose them. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Lightning bombings. The look goes around. You know if you were sitting next to a couple and several crimes. Next to an I'm talking specifically about the fall of the church of the hell. What the fuck is this video? Now, as for the real people behind the tension experience, they have been warned to come out of the shadows, but they continue to hide like the cowards they are. Say for yourself, who is responsible for the reprehensible and systematic indoctrination of the church of Anaheim's false and dangerous beliefs? If you are still unconvinced of their lies, then we leave you with this. They have been manipulated since the beginning. Turn it off! What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is this shit? Hi, Felicia. And now we're sitting in a dark room. <laughs> Glory be! <laughs> That's it.